Hello, I'm Mr. Polk, and welcome to my kitchen. It's been a long time since we cooked together, and I thought I'd welcome you into my kitchen, and we would cook a little bit together today. So what I've decided is our next unit is going to be cake decorating. So I thought, why don't we bake a chocolate cake? That's something that you could bake at home. So, I have the recipe. I'll go over the recipe as I talk, and I'll also have the recipe loaded on my Canvas page. That's not something I usually do, because I like you to have to be in class and experience it to get the recipe, but I'll put it out there so you have it. So let's get started. So what we're going to do for our classic chocolate cake, and this is a recipe I've been doing for a while, is we're going to take our bowl from our mixer, and if you don't have the, the stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer, or you can even just mix by hand, a little elbow grease, it's all good. But we've got this one here, we're going to get started. So we're going to start with cake flour. As we know in class, we know I like to use the different flours. This is the softest of the flours. Um, but if you just have AP at home, that's fine. So we're going to put that in the bowl, and I did pre-sift it. Um, that's about 14 ounces. Now we're going to throw in 8 ounces of our sugar. And this is uh, a really nice method of the cake because it's a stage method. We're just going to put kind of everything in together. So we throw in the sugar. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in our cocoa powder. It's about 2.7 ounces of cocoa powder. And then we're going to put in our leavening. So we've got our baking soda, put some of that in, put in a little bit of baking powder, and our salt, and then we're going to set that off to the side. Then we're going to mix up our wet, so we're just going to put that right over here. In fact, I'm just going to set it right in the mixer a while, and uh, put the flat beater on so it's ready, because that's important. Then we're going to move on to the wet. We're going to use a bowl, and we're just going to put everything together. We're going to put in our eggy eggies, drop them in there, like that. And then we're going to put in the milk. That's one cup of whole milk, just like that. And then finish with a little bit of vanilla. That's two teaspoons, a little dramatic effect there. Okay. And then now we're going to whisk it up. So we're going to take our whisk, a little zip, zip, zip. And that, you don't have to make it crazy. You just want to try to get the eggs together. So as long as you can kind of get it mixed, you're in good shape. And then now we're ready to start mixing our cake. Alright, so we're going to bring up our mixer, and I like to start it on stir, just to bring the dry together. If you were doing this at home, and you were doing it by hand, you would just mix it together. And that's why this is the stage method, because all we're doing is bringing this together. Then we're going to take our liquid, okay, and we're just going to gently pour it in. And this is going to come together and make almost a, a chocolate paste. Once it starts to make a chocolate paste, then we're going to put in our oil, okay? Alright, since I have my oil in the, the glass uh, container here, I'm just going to turn it off, throw that in there, go like that. Now it's going to start to go around. Once you put your oil in, you're going to see where it really gets nice and shiny. We're going to zip that around a little bit. And the question is, how long do you mix? You want to mix it long enough so that the sugar starts to dissolve. So at this point, I'm going to grab a spatula. This time I'll go the right way. It's different when you're standing on both sides of the mixer. And I'm going to scrape it down. Just like that. And then after I scrape it down, I'm going to mix it again just for like a, a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's looking good. So we're going to zip that around. Zip, zip, zip. And now it's ready to mix. Now here's the thing. This is what makes this cake special. And that is, I'll get this off my stove back here, is that this one uses boiling hot water. Okay? And the boiling hot water is important because it dissolves the cocoa powder and makes for such a really moist cake. So I have boiling water here that I just took off the stove. All right, I'm going to use my measuring cup, and I'm going to take one cup. Now, the trick here, we'll put this back on the stove. The trick is that we're going to shut this down, and we're not going to use the mixer. So even if you do have the fancy mixers, you don't want to use that for here. Okay, let's just get rid of this, like that. Okay, what we want to do is just pour the hot water, boiling water, you got to be careful, it's hot. Pour it right in there and you're going to mix it. And as soon as you mix it, you're going to notice something. The first time people make this recipe is they think, 
oh no, I messed it up. Because look how thin this is. It's going to look like a, a melted milkshake. And that's what you want. This is the stage method. This is a really moist chocolate cake. It's not going to look like a traditional cake that's going to be thick. You're not going to have a thick batter. It's going to be nice and thin. And that's it. That's all it takes to make probably one of the best chocolate cakes you'll ever make. Okay? So blend it together real nice, and away we go. Now it's time to prep our pans. So I'm going to just set that off to the side. How about over here? I know you can't see it, but this way we can get ready. We're going to prep our pans. This is a, a would be a what I call a traditional size batter of cake. It would make one 9 by 13, or it would make two 8 inch. Okay? So we're going to do 8 inch pans. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pans and we're going to spray them. I like to use baking spray. Um, traditionally, grandmas across the world used to take a little bit of butter or Crisco, coat their pans, put some flour in, give it a rat a tap tap, and pour it out, and that's great. The new method is very similar. It is just that this spray has flour in it. You don't want to just use straight up um, pan spray, like something for the stove or a butter spray, because it's going to brown. This has flour in it, so even as I spray it, you're going to notice I just spray the edges of the pan. It's very thick. It's got a, you know, kind of clumpy, chunky, monkey kind of thing going on there. And that's because it has the flour in it. Once you spray the edges, then you're going to cut two pieces of parchment paper, a little arts and crafts, and then put that in there. Once you get those in there, it's time to move. So I like to make things precise, as you know, so I like to scale. So I'm going to get my trusty scale, turn it on, tear it, and I like to put about one pound seven to one pound eight ounces or so of the batter for an eight inch cake. All right, at school we're going to make a six inch, so it's going to be a little smaller. So where am I at? You can't see anyway, so we're at one, two, one, six, one seven and change, we'll call that good. Oh, look how thin that is. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, better tear this guy. And where are we at? One three, one six, and one seven, and we call it a day. Now, these are looking really good. These are ready to go in the oven. All right. They're going to go in the oven, as I like to say, in the oven for some loving. They're going to go in, and they're going to bake in a 350 degree oven, so you want to already have your oven at 350. And a cake about this size, depending on your oven, bakes about 30 minutes, give or take a few minutes. And I'm still traditional. Um, I still believe in that I bake them. First thing I do is I tap the tops very gently. If it springs back, I know I'm almost done. And then I like to take my toothpick and go in the center. If it comes out clean, then I know I'm good to go. So the next thing we have to do is take our cakes, and we come over here and we put them in the oven. And then, through the magic of television, voila, we've got a finished cake. And what you can see here with the finished cake is it bakes up nice and even, nice and flat. Look at that thing, okay? This cake is screaming to me, decorate me, decorate me. Well, I tell you what, we're going to save that for another time. So on our next episode, I'd like to show you the steps of actually making buttercream and decorating this cake and turning into something great. But this way today, you have a recipe that you could work on, something you could do anytime you want. Grab some ingredients, decorate um, and bake a cake, and just have some fun in the kitchen. Okay? And I hope to cook with you real soon. And until next time, I'm Mr. Polk, and thanks for visiting my kitchen.